Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has been holding high-level talks in Beijing, dealing both with North Korea as well as the wider relationship between the U.S. and China. This seen as a crucial part of a warm-up in relations between the two countries, and China would have welcomed Tillerson's apparent commitment to pursuing a diplomatic track in dealing with North Korea. In an off-the-camera interview, the Secretary of State confirmed publicly that the U.S. was pursuing back channels in dialogue with the Pyongyang administration. This was the president's reaction less than 24 hours later. I told Rex Tillerson, our wonderful Secretary of State, that he's wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man, followed by, save your energy, Rex, we'll do what has to be done. President Trump continued tweeting on North Korea while he traveled the short distance from his golf club to another to watch the final day of the President's Cup tournament. Apparently unconcerned that he'd publicly contradicted his Secretary of State, but given that Tillerson appears to have given his commitment to Chinese leaders to pursue avenues of dialogue, on this occasion is particularly embarrassing to the country's top diplomat and his often stated policy. This is not the first time the president has publicly contradicted his Secretary of State, but given that Tillerson appears to have given his commitment to Chinese leaders to pursue avenues of dialogue, it's particularly embarrassing to the country's top diplomat and his often stated policy. We're going to continue our, our peaceful pressure campaign, as I have described it, working with allies, working with China uh, as well, to see if we can bring the uh, regime in Pyongyang to the negotiating table uh, with a view to begin a dialogue on a different future for Korean Peninsula and for North Korea. This policy now reversed without consultation in a few thumb strokes. And no matter how wonderful the president may describe his Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson's cutting an increasingly lonely figure in what is clearly a divided administration.